All right, now that we have a user in our uh, users table, let's go ahead and build out our model. So we can jump over here, and I'm going to get rid of this echo password hash here just to clean that up. And inside of our models folder, so we're in app models, I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to call that users.php. Um, and so here we'll open our PHP tags and define our class. So class users, and this is going to extend our model class. All right. So the first thing I'll do is set a couple properties, and the, they're going to be private. So we we'll put those uh, with. Uh, we want to put an underscore at the beginning of that, just out of convention. You don't have to do that. Um, however, it does make it easier uh, moving forward to know if a property is private or protected if you start them with an underscore. All right, so then we'll create one public static. Uh, property and let me spell that correctly public static and we'll call that current logged in user set that to null and we're going to use that later for kind of a singleton pattern so don't worry about that too much right now so the first thing we need to do um, is we need to go ahead and call our constructor And we'll pass that in user with a default of an empty string. And we will set table equal to users. And then we're going to construct our parent here, which will be the model class. So parent construct. And we got to pass that table. Uh, into there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a couple things here. Um, let's set this session name is going to equal current user uh, session name. And then we'll set cookie name. We'll remember me cookie name. Also, um, go ahead and use this soft delete. It's going to equal true because I want to go ahead and not delete users from the database um, permanently. So we'll just set a boolean there. Uh, and while we're thinking of that, let's just jump on over to our users table and go to structure. And what we're going to do is add one column after ACL. And we're going to call that deleted. And this is going to actually be um, a tiny int. And we'll set that default of zero. Save. All right, so now we have a deleted a boolean there that we can use for our soft delete and that's what we're going to do here okay so the next thing i want to do is i want to check if they pass something in here on the construction of this uh, model class um, and so we're going to do an if statement there and we'll just say if user is not equal to an empty string if that's the case then um, I'm going to say we're going to we want to know if it if they passed an integer so if is int user okay um, and we'll say u is equal to this db find first the users table As conditions ID um, and then we'll bind user. OK. 
Okay. So if that's an integer, we're going to find the first users there. Um, else, we're going to set u equal to this db first users conditions username okay. and then we'll uh, find Alright, so we'll be able to pass in a username or a user ID and set that there. Um, and so then what we can do is we'll say um, if you, so if that exists basically, say for each you as key. Val pair this key is equal to val. Okay, just get out of this construct here and let's create um, a couple, just a couple more methods, and we'll come back to this um, as we need. So one thing I want to create a public function uh, and we'll call that find by username we'll just pass in username and so we'll say user is equal to this find first conditions Going to be username is going to equal that, and then what we're going to do is bind on our username. All right. So, um, and then we just return user. Um, or we could just say turn this. Okay, so that's our find by username method. Um, and then what we're going to do is um, we need to create the actual login method. So let's let's go ahead and build that out. Let's say public function login and that's going to get past a remember me and we'll set that by default we're just going to set that to false okay all right so here what we're going to do is say session set um I'm going to say session set this, oops, this session name and then this ID. So it's going to set that session name equal to the ID and then we need to handle the remember me stuff. Um, so basically the login function just creates a session. That's it. I mean, um, but what we want to do is make sure we're um, checking for remember me. So if remember me is set to true, which by default is set to false. But if we pass login with uh, remember me, then we'll, we need to create a hash. So we'll just use... Uh, PHP is MD5, and we'll pass it a unique ID, which is also a base 
And then I'm going to add a random number to that between 0 and 100. Okay, so we'll have that hash. And then we're going to say user agent is going to be equal to session uagent no version. And then we're going to set that cookie. This cookie name, and we will set it to hash. And then the expire expiry will be remember cookie expiry. And we'll need to set those up here in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, fields. We'll make that equal to an array. And we're going to say session. Oops. So session, and we'll pass that the hash. And then user agent will be, you guessed it, user agent. And then um, user ID is going to be this. Oops. Sorry, I touched my trackpad. This ID. Um, yep. So then what we're going to do is just say this DB. Query and um, what we're going to do here is just we're going to delete a session. So delete from user sessions where user ID is equal to and user agent. Okay. And then what we're going to do is bind this ID and this, oh, no, user agent. So what that's going to do is look in our user sessions table and delete any rows where the user ID is equal to this current uh, user's ID and where their user agent is equal, okay? Um, so we're just cleaning up the database if there are any other uh, older ones in there, and then we're gonna add this new one um, here. So it's gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna say this db insert user sessions fields. Okay, so what's going to happen on this login is just that we're setting a session. If remember me is set, we're going to create a user, grab their user, we're going to create a hash, we're going to grab their user agent, we're going to set the cookie, uh, and then what we're going to do uh, is we're going to look in their database and delete any that match current our current user agent and id and then we're going to insert a new row with the fields that we just that we do, uh, set up here okay so that is our uh, login function uh, let me see what time we got here okay we've got enough time i think to go and just add into our config um our config we need to add these um constants that we're using here. Um, so let's go ahead and look in that so cool, uh, config. Yep, so let's go ahead and create a new constant here. And we're going to say current user session name. 
I don't recommend that you copy mine exactly, um, but I'm just going to put a bunch of random uh, characters, both uppercase and lowercase. Um, don't have any special strings because if you do that, um, you will most likely uh, have some issues later on. Okay, and then I'm going to define another constant. It's going to be remember me cookie name. Again, um, this one I'm going to do the same thing, just some random letters and numbers only. No weird characters here. And then define one more, and we're going to call this the remember me expiry expiry yep and what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to put mine for 30 days so this is time in seconds so 30 days is uh, 604,800 you may choose to do something different there if you want alright so let's just add a few comments here so uh, session name for logged in user Right, and then this is cookie name for logged in user remember me. And then this one is going to be uh, time in seconds for uh, remember me cookie to live. And I'll just say minus 30 days. Okay. All right, so that's our config. Now we should have all of these um, set that we used here. We just used three. Uh, I think that's good to go. Um, all right, so I think um, one last thing we can do really quick is in our register uh, controller. Um, let's go ahead and load that model there then. So in our construct, um, we're going to go ahead and say this load model users. Okay. And what that'll do is when this is constructed, it will uh, load this model, uh, basically instantiate this, this model here. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps and I will see you in the next video.